He's a lucky... Ah, <sighs> best of luck best with that. Well done. That. Now, it's a real-life horror story, sort of. Every October for the past three years, the residents of quaint Scottish village uh, Skelmorley have been subject to terrifying visits from a mysterious clown. Oh, I don't know if I'd like this. I kind of... I'm no, kind of down with it. It's not really up my street. Now, dressed like Pennywise from the scary film It, <laughs> the creepy clown oh walks God. the streets of Kelamori at night holding a red balloon. I mean, Can you imagine just that walking you your dog or something and <laughs> you bumped into that No, guy. I wouldn't. I'd run. Oh, uh, the locals desperately trying to work out the clown's true identity. Isla requires to, we had to send Isla to take an investigation into her own hands. Good morning, Isla. Morning, Isla. Good morning. Well, full disclosure, I am absolutely terrified of clowns, and it's because of this film, it's because of it, Pennywise, that I really am terrified. But obviously, I have tracked down killers in my past. I'm a serious crime journalist, so they sent me here. The world's media has been trying to find out the identity of this clown for the past three years. I mean, there's been requests from Canada and America, but the clown agreed to talk to me. So I had a very interesting evening last night, cloak and dagger, secret location, but here is the world's exclusive interview with the mysterious clown, Oscar Morley. There you are. Sorry, terrible signal. So, the world's media wants this big interview with you. Why did you choose me and this morning? Everyone from India to the US of A wants to know the clown's identity. But what is a game without someone to play? Alison Hammond, what do you say? So, have you got something to say to Alison Hammond? Does it help you sleep better at night? Telling yourself I'm just here to fright. The only mask that I can see is the one you wear when you say you don't fear me. God, that's quite scary. <laughs> what do you feel about all this attention you've got? Do you think it's ever going to stop? Were you not listening? I told you before, this is about fun and nothing more. So what is it exactly that you do? I come up with games with a frightening theme, usually something to do with Halloween. Then the village must unite to solve all the clues before their time runs out, which would mean that they lose. And what happens if they lose? When the games first began, a loss meant I stay, so they'd have to complete them for me to go away. But as I went on, they all started to see these games brought excitement and mystery. So now when they lose, it's over and done. No more games and no more fun. So are you intent on causing chaos? Or are you just misunderstood? All this clown wants to do is play. Chaos or fun, come what may. People join the games if they choose. It's up to them if they win or lose. So, no one is lost. You're still here. What's the next game? I'm glad that you asked. Here's a message for everyone. Take a look behind you. The game's already begun. Yeah. I did not sleep so well last night, but uh, some people who are sleeping all right, actually, is the resident. So, first of all, Angela, you're not that scared of the clown, are you? No, not at all. You you think he's a good addition to the village? Very good addition to the village. And what do what do most people? How do they react? They love him. They love They're him. Just yeah. here. And they get on with all the jokes that he puts on. Because there's, there's puzzles the and puzzles clues and things, clues. yeah. Now, here's uh, little Isla. Little Isla. <laughs> Big Isla. Isla, you're a bit like me. You're a little bit scared of clowns. Yeah. Do, have you seen the clown? 
I've not actually seen it, but I've seen it in like videos. Yeah. And I, some of them look kind of scary, but it's good when you know that it's not really a serious thing. Yeah. Have you? So, have any of your friends found any of the clues or puzzles? Uh, one of my friends' relatives, I think it was, had yeah. like a little box delivered to their door, and yeah, yeah they kind of helped solve the clue. So. Janice, your granddaughter, three-year-old. No, my sister's granddaughter. Oh, sorry, your sister's yeah. granddaughter. She got a clue. Yes, she did. Yeah. So tell me, how did she react? She's three. I yeah, she terrified. absolutely loved it, and she opened it up and was dead excited when she seen the, the the wee cookie inside and the clue. And what do you think of the fact the world's media is is following this story? And, yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think it's all right, but some of it's a bit ridiculous because it's a, it's the talk of the village, and and the store and the key store at Scarum Lake Post Office. Everybody comes in and talks about it and they think it's absolutely amazing what they're doing. We also have a mysterious elf called Skelfie that comes up yes. at Christmas time and a bunny. I mean, I don't know why I wasn't sent here at Easter. I'd much <laughs> rather that than this, uh, yes. this, this cloud nonsense. Now, Penny Wise Jr., uh, how old are you exactly? You look kind of small. Roses are red, violets are blue. I have outside your window waiting for you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know if you heard that, but it was a really creepy little line there. Um, are you aspiring to grow up to be another Pennywise leaving tricks around the town? Yeah. You're going to keep the legend going, yeah? Yeah. OK. Well, uh, I'm uh, happy to let them carry on with the clowning around. I'm going to head back to London in my car with my doors locked, cameras on, curtains shut, because I was warned last night he might come after me and he did leave me a balloon, so don't know what that means. Well, just get Very back good, safe, yeah. that's all I'm saying, Ali. That was, look, do you know what? Just the scenery, looking at this. Beautiful, isn't it's it? It's actually put the village on the map, hasn't it? It's put the village on the map. Everyone's going to want to come and visit now. I think it's actually a nice thing. Now, I didn't like the idea at first, but now I think it's a great idea. Isla. Me too. <laughs> Isla, I am slightly suspicious of the guy in the yellow jacket behind you, though. Yes, me too. <laughs> He just could keeps, be the one. He could be just a, what, just a little cameo, just teasing us, maybe. Yeah. He's just getting his, he's just getting his uh, backside on camera yeah. there. That was Aww. his kind of... Uh... Thanks, Isla. Thank, Thank the guys you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, See you later. Bye. 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 <laughs> Cheers, Isla. I love that. I like it. Do you? Little gentle disruption, putting yeah, the art, putting right. the village on the map. not hurting anybody. The thing is, though, the village obviously isn't too big, so... And, 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 like, so they must have an idea who yeah. it is. Maybe they do it on rotation or something. Nice. And they all take turns to do it. Anyway, listen, still to come.